Hi, uh, this is the target some question. So you are given an integer array nouns and an integer target. So return a number of different expression that you can build. So I'm going to just dive into a DP uh, uh, way and then this is a feature this guy generates. So get this guy created. So I'm going to tell you how you actually solve the DP in in this video. So if you add every single integer up, right? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This, this is only one way you can generate um, the number if your target is actually equal to 1, right? If you just keep adding, right? You can, on, you can only get one way. And then if you want to say plus, 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 and then minus, you get like five different ways, right? And basically, like, uh, target is actually uh, tell you the index so you need to just add like add your sum with the target in this case s so you will get the number of way you can generate so uh this question is pretty hard to understand at first but once you get it you will get it forever so the length of the dp is actually two times s plus one since you need to include index Zero. and there's a reason why you need to have two times s because this could be positive and negative right and this is pretty much it so let's just stop coding and i will tell you what happened so in sum to the zero and then i'm going to generate summarize the nums array so num nums and sum plus equal to num and i need to make sure if my sum is actually what is actually greater than the target greater than or equal to target right um if not which is return false right so if sum is less than target i will return zero and also what if the target is actually less than negative sum i will return zero as well and in bp so i will just say two times x plus one so as it represents sum right so uh for every single one you when you add every single integer right this is sum if you sum is actually one you have one way to do it right and for int i equal to zero i starting uh traversing the num and also i need to make i need to make sure how do i update my db so i need to have a temporary db for my next level and this is going to be the same in new in q times x plus and i need to start from the beginning to the end for this sum plus one j plus so what you actually need to do is you need to traverse your dp in to your next okay so if dp at j is not equal to zero if dpj is not equal to zero which is um which is correct because you you will you will have to keep updating your dp right so this is definitely for the next the so next j minus 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 uh nums i plus equal to dp dpj right plus equal to dpj so um let's talk about how i actually write this one the so next at this position uh what position okay this is for every single integer in the next right the index is actually the sum right so in this index for the next this is actually what a number minus a number which is sum minus sum right and then this will just give you how many way when you i mean it's basically like this dp sum equal to one I when you do the math in this one right i was just making sure i update the sum in this next uh in the array so sum will be the position basically j minus uh, j minus numbers i is the sum and then i need to plus dpj this is because at this position i will have another way to do it right and you are, you have the same idea for plus because 
and let me finish so this is because for every single integer it could be positive or negative right so you will have at least like two way right plus or negative for every single dpij is not equal to zero and every single time you finish the inner loop you need, you need to update it so dp equal to next so i will keep updating my next to my dp and then later on i will return so again when you want to return right you need to return the uh the sum plus the topic this is because this example like um basically you have to ignore the sum which is from zero to index five right and then uh you will just have a different way to return right so i have no idea how to why we need sum plus s but what i know what i know is actually we don't care about the negative we only care about starting from the sum plus power because this will give you the uh this will give you a result this is actually pretty the symmetry right one zero five zero ten is one zero five zero ten and then you plus one for the sum is actually um it's actually important this is because the index started from zero sum doesn't start from zero and you will just return dp sum plus it and let's just run it and here we go so let's talk about time and space so for the time and this is all of n but inside all of n you have another follow which is all of two times s plus one and eventually this will be all of n times s n times s right s represents the summation right and this will be the time and for the space is actually what um two times sum plus one pretty much all of it and this will be the solution and if you want to uh rewatch the video or look at this example to dig out more what why is target plus sum and then you probably will understand and if you understand please let me know uh what is the uh, math behind me out there so uh, this is pretty much the solution and if you feel helpful subscribe like if you want it and leave a comment if you have any solution or problem and i will see you next time bye